so we started about a year ago. Um, Shai tried to make a 3D printer for his school when he realized that 3D printing uh, using powder-based printing was very expensive. So he made a Delta printer of his own. Um, he got funding from his school. And then we realized um, that we can make one for ourselves and make it for students like, like us. And so we came up with this model. We wanted to make it affordable, um, easy to use, and accessible to college students like us. After five, six months of work, we, we have this prototype. And we want to get these out as cheaply as possible. So we launched, we launched our Kickstarter, and what happened was that those kits sold out in maybe a day and a half. And we were trying to sell the assembled, but we sort of we found out that people wanted to build these themselves. It's so much more hands-on. You learn so much more from it, and that, that makes sense to me. So uh, we ran some numbers, and actually we just added kits not too long ago. Um, so what makes this Delta printer better than other printers and Cartesian-style printers is that it uses the polar coordinate system. Um, this system allows us uh, to go at 200 millimeters per second, which is approximately 50% faster than the leading brand um, 3D printer, and gets a 100 micron resolution. So you're getting speed and quality at a much cheaper cost. I tried to make it as simple as possible, and with that, sort of, we generally we use parts that are pretty much all off the shelf. And what that means is that it's really easy to expand. Since we, use, since we sort of, what drives those carriages is a line and not a belt. I think belts work well, but the problem with that is that if you want to change that volume, if you want to sort of try to modify, expand, it's expensive because you'd have to buy new belts, and I mean, those, they don't come cheap. Um, the thing with the wire, with, with the line, is that what you have to do to, um, to raise the print height on this printer is you pretty much have to buy new rods, buy new lines, it's going to cost you maybe 10 bucks, maybe 15 minutes over time. Uh, so we launched the Kickstarter about two weeks ago, we still have two weeks to go. Um, our goal is 195,000. We have we've raised approximately 70% of that to date. Um, we just added new kits, and we still have assembled printers out there. So you guys can go out and help support us. We definitely wouldn't mind.